Today, I will be installing Navi Drome on Pertainer. The installation steps I am following today is for Open Media Vault. But you can also install Navi Drome by using TrueCharts catalog on TrueNAS or Docker on other network attached storage devices. Navi Drome is a simple open source music server you can host on your network attached storage. Navi Drome reads your music library and makes them available on any of your device that can access their web player. This can be your computer, your phone, your tablet, or any other music streaming device. Through the player, you can search for your music and create different playlists. Audio can then be streamed to the local device then onto the sound system connected. For me, I think it is awesome that I don't have to deal with paying for a premium service, dealing with limitations such as number of users or devices. I can play music on my computer, then when I need to go, I just resume playing on my phone, as long as I have internet access. On their website, they have a demo you can try out. There are even music files available that you can actually play to test. Installing and running Navi Drome is very simple, with specific instructions for almost any operating system you may be running. The biggest challenge for me is mapping my music library correctly. I will be installing mine using Docker Compose. On Portainer, I will first go to Stacks, then select Add Stack. On the Navi Drome website, they have a Docker Compose file you can copy and edit, you don't even have to start from scratch. If you are copying the Docker Compose, make sure to copy the file on their website because there have been known formatting issues when copying from other sites. This is very convenient especially for people like me who just want to run the service immediately with minimal fiddling. Copy the code and paste it onto the Stacks web editor. From here you need to customize the stack for your specific server. Specifically user, which is the PUID and PGID. To find out the PUID and PGID, you need to SSH into your server to get this. Using a terminal or putty, enter ID plus the username you created for your server. This will show you ID and GID values you will use. Update these values on Portainer. In my case it is 998 and 100. It will be different on different computers and different users. Volumes, you will need to point to the folder where you save your music library. For the volumes, you will need to point to your shared folders, number 1, where you want to save Navi Drome and other app configuration, and number 2, point to where you saved your music library, or other app data. And optionally, add environment variables. On the website, there are configuration options you can use to customize environment variables. From basic default file configurations to advanced configuration for transcoding, setting up Spotify, Last.fm, etc. For now I will keep the installation basic as these configurations would depend on preference. The environment variables I will leave scan, schedule as is. This defines how often Navi Drone will scan your library for new music. Log level also as is, this can be useful for troubleshooting should anything go wrong. And session timeout set as 24 hours. This sets how long the system will allow an idle session before it gets kicked out. The ports you can also change, but I will also leave them as is for now. Once everything is set, click on deploy the stack. Wait for the stack to completely install. For some reason, having user on the Docker Compose is throwing an error. I tried using different users PUID and PGID but I could not figure it out. Finally, I tried using the script on Docker Hub by Dilwan, which did not have the user PUID and PGID and it worked nicely. Basically I just copied the script and made sure the volumes were pointed at the right shared folders. I had data pointing to my config folder and music to the music folder I set up. The RO stands for read only. Mm -hmm. 
Everything looks good, so click on deploy. Once Navi Drone has successfully deployed, we can go to our web browser and enter the IP address. The first login to Navi Drone will prompt you to create an admin. After logging in you can change your password, create other users and configure other settings such as themes, default view, notifications, and others. Just a note, notifications are not going to work if you are not using HTTPS. Here we can see Navi Drone can access my music library. I added a few songs on my music folder so we can try out Navi Drone. Keep in mind, the folder has to be a shared folder with privileges configured properly for Navi Drone to have access. You may also want to set up SMB shares for the folder if you use Windows so you can add or remove music to your folder as needed. Navi Drone lets you search by album, artist, or song. You can add songs to favorites and create playlists. The advantage to hosting your own music streaming service is you have full control and is practically free. You don't need to have a full server to host it, you can run it on almost any Windows or Linux machine. For now, this video is done, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, hope to see you on the next one.